Welcome to Go Bears Diecast Workshop, episode 44. Remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I'd like to thank all of my new subscribers and those of you who have come back and supported the channel. I almost have 800 subscribers and I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And today's bill is going to be the tow service truck. It's from the Heavyweight Series, 1970. Um, they actually did a series of these heavyweights from 70 to 71. But it has a metal base, red line wheels, plastic interior. A blue tinted window. The base with the toe assembly attached. It's giving me a little difficulty there. Uh, let me grab a tool and pop it loose. All right. So there's the toe assembly, and of course the casting itself that needs to be stripped. So let's get it in some strippers so we can see what we're working with. So here it is out of the stripper. It came out very nice and clean. I'm going to start out with some 320 grit sandpaper start prepping the body up since I'm going to be going back with Spectra Flame paint. I need to make sure we can get as much of the imperfections off of it as we can. And that is going to require that we polish it to a high glossy shine. So just remember when dealing with red lines and Spectra Flame paint if you're not going to be using a silver base or a chrome base type of paint as the base coat you're going to have to do some prep work and possibly some electric plating which I've never done that before but it's definitely something that I want to try in the near future and I've speeded this up so you guys don't have to watch me sand and prep the body but after I finish sanding of course I will polish it up to a high shine But just take your time in this prep work. So here we are in the spray booth. I'm putting on a Spectra Flame paint from the Redline shop. It's a very quality paint. Just follow the procedures for the mixing. And you shouldn't have any issues. When applying the paint, make sure that you put a nice good tack coat on. Wait a period of time between coats. To let it tack up before you add on another coat. But as you can see, it's going on really nice. I kind of have a heavy hand when spraying. But you have to just be careful or else you'll have runs and sags in your paint job. And you'll be stripping it back down again. Make sure you got nice even coats. And that's going on really nice and I really love this color. did order some new uh, stickers or decals to put on the side of the toe assembly. Here we're going on with the clear. It's a 2K clear. It sprays very nice. 
can start to see that shine coming through with the spectra flame. That's a really good shot of the shine. Just take your time again. Even coats, and good coverage. Don't get in too big of a rush. That's turning out really, really nice. That is absolutely gorgeous. Certain ways I turn the casting and you can really see the shine. Look at there. Very nice, very nice. Now remember what we started with? Very play worn, needing some attention and love. Here's what I finished up with. I hope you enjoy it. It looks pretty good. Um, the only thing that I didn't get the wheels in in time, but I will change those out as soon as they come in. I think as far as the restoration, it came out fantastic. I hope you guys agree. When I get it some new shoes, it'll definitely look uh, really nice. That'll just finish it off. But again, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't. I hope everybody is staying safe out there. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Don't forget about the three blind mice build that I'm Hosting for March. It's the 1970 Monte Carlo due March 27th. Here's a couple of different shots of castings that you can choose from. If you haven't signed up already, please email the Three Blind Mice or go to the page and sign up below on the initial invitational thank you very much have a great one remember two rules same casting have fun